गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग अमेजिंगली ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अनदर आई मेकअप ट्यूटोरियल इन विच आई एम गोइंग डू एन आई लॉगस आई लुक यूजिंग पर्पल्स एंड पिंक फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अ मॉइस्चराइजर टू मॉइस्चराइज द अपर एंड द लोअर आई लेड एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ प्राइमर एंड गोइंग टू प्राइम द अपर एंड द लोअर आई लेड सो दैट इट गिव्स मी अ स्मूथ फिनिश वैन आई गो एंड अप्लाई द करेक्टर आई वुड एडवाइज यू टू यूज अ ब्रश एट ऑल पॉइंट इन टाइम्स Next I'm going to use this LA Pro concealer which I've been using for the longest time now in the shade pure beige and I'm going to correct the under eye area of mine as I do not have a lot many dark circles but yeah I just want to smoothen the tone of my skin giving me an even look and an even finish Then I'm going to take some powder and set the under eye area and also the eyelid so that I do not have any creases when I go ahead and do the eye makeup on with making my brows i'm going to start by stroking the hair upwards and then i'm going to line the bottom of my brow and then i'll go ahead and do the same on the top of the brow as well then slowly and steadily i'm going to be filling the brows till i reach to the middle of the eye once you're done with filling the brows move from the outer part of the brow towards the bridge of the nose and once you come to this part just make slight strokes upward instead of filling it up to give a natural finish do not worry if you do not have the perfect lines you can use a cat in brush or any thin pointed brush to draw a perfect line with the concealer down just below the brow so that it gives you a perfect sharp finish a smudge flat brush you can smudge it towards the forehead and also below towards the eyelid next i'm using this shade as a highlighter to highlight my brow bone you can also use the shade for highlighting the inner corner of the eyes and also the areas that you would wish to pop up this is from the james charles morphe palette start off by using the shade for the first transition shade to give me a nice pink soft warm look i'm starting from the outer corner of the eye and smudging it towards the inner corner of the eye blend the shade really well above the crease line and also on your crease line to give you a nice finish make sure you do not start off by using too much of product build slowly and steady to give you a nice look Next I'm using this pink shade which is a nice vibrant shade as my second transition color. I'm going to use this just on the crease line and slightly below the first transition shade in order to give it a more vibrant and a bright look. I'm using the same cat and brush that I used to underline the lower eyebrows and I'm going to take some amount of concealer and start cutting a crease here this is not a cut crease look but I'm just using some amount of concealer here in order to make the second shade which is the purple shade more vibrant and to pop up I do not wish to have the entire eyelid with the purple shade but I want to make it double shades of dark purple and slightly glittery purple so I'm just going to cut the crease halfway through and then blend both the colors Next I'm using this light purple shade and I'm going to start building up slowly make sure that you do not use a lot of product here because it will fall on your eyelashes and a lot might fall under your eyelids as well which You can also use your finger to tap on more product to make it look more vibrant. Now I'm using this darker purple shade and starting with the outer corner of the eye. 
This is going to give me a more smoky purple kind of a look because I've used two shades which is a darker shade and a lighter shade. It will make my eye look look more vibrant and more bright. Then I'm using this glitter purple shade which I am in love with from the James Charles Morphe palette and I'm going to start by tapping it with my fingers because the fingers make you apply the glitter really very well. Towards the inner of corner of the eye you can use a brush, a thin brush and you can just line it onto the inner corner of the eye and then smudge it softly. Then I'm using the same shade that I used to highlight my brown one in the inner corner of the eye. Take the same dark purple shade and start lining the under eye area as well and I'm going to move ahead towards the center of the eye by using this pink shade that I used as the second transition shade. This is going to give me a nice smoky look. In order to get it mixed really well I'm going to use a smudger brush and I'm going to just puff it under eye to give me a nice smoky purple eye look. I'm going to use a stick pajal and I'm going to just underline the waterline area of my eyelids. Next I'm going to use this gel eyeliner by L'Oreal and I'm going to make a winged eyeliner. Next I'm going to use a concealer which is two shades lighter than my complexion to give a boost and a more highlight effect to the lower area of the eye. Using a blender I'm going to blend this towards the lower lid of the eye and also towards the bridge of the nose and above the cheekbones. Now using a small buff brush, I am going to fix this area by using some fixing powder and I am going to fix the area that I applied the concealer on. Next I am going to use mascara on the above and lower lashes to give it more definition and then I am going to go ahead and apply the false lashes. In this look I'm going to use some amount of highlighter once again on the brow bone if you feel that it wasn't enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was the analogous eye makeup look which means two or three colors from the same family of the color wheel. If you really enjoyed the video please share a thumbs up and also comment in the comment section below if you have any questions. See you in my next video.